The L stands for look for signs. So as you're thinking about potential suicidality in your teen, you want to look for warning signs. And warning signs would include things like um, a pretty big difference in behavior. Um, so all of a sudden, stopping engaging in activities that used to be fun or spending more time alone and isolating themselves. Okay, and what's the E? The E stands for empathize and listen. And so this is where um, we, we want people to have a chance to talk to their child and hear about what's going on in their life, how are they doing. As a parent myself, for our kids, we often wanna jump in and fix, right? We wanna jump in and problem solve and like, here's what you should do, right? And we need to take a step back and listen, validate validate their experience, like, wow, that sounds like what you're going through is really hard, thanks for telling me. The A is ask about suicide. And this is one that is really uncomfortable for people because um, just the word itself, I think, is very taboo and people don't like to say it. And I think there's a perception that if we say the word suicide or if we ask about it, we're planting an idea in somebody's head, but we're really not. They're just being very open and um, very direct about it. So that way you can open the conversation and really talk it through. What is the R? The R is reducing danger. This is so, so important. And this is something that all parents should do, in my opinion, regardless of whether or not your teen is suicidal. And that's reducing access to things that teens can really seriously hurt or kill themselves with. And the main two that we think about are reducing access to firearms and reducing access to medications, including over-the-counter medications um, and vitamins and supplements. N is next steps. So next steps are getting connected to professional help. And um, so that means getting connected to a therapist, getting connected to your primary care physician um, to discuss the option of medication. It's such an important conversation. Thanks for having it with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, appreciate it.